Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be showing you how to put together the Photography and Cinema Gearbox 2. Now we also recently did a review of the product where we actually did some test footage and we went over uh, a lot of different functionalities of the product. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, we're going to put a link up right here. So you can click on that and go watch that review. So let's get started. Um, so here's all the pieces that comes with the Photography and Cinema Gearbox 2. Um, far as being mobile, it is very much so. As you can see, it breaks down quite a bit, so you can really stack this stuff on top of each other or wherever you need it to be able to put it into a backpack or some type of bag um, where you don't have a lot of room. Um, far as all the smaller component pieces that are going to be floating around, stuff like this, your screws, um, you get two different sides, Allen wrenches, um, as well as a plate that connects into your camera. We'll show you how this works. I was a little confused when I first got this, how this piece fit in. Um, I just went out and got a sunglass case, and I can put all these free-floating pieces right into this case, and then all the larger pieces separately. Um, you're not going to lose these. You could lose these pieces. So you want to have something that you can put them in that's going to secure them um, on the, while you're on the move. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, what I call the base plate, where you're going to actually uh, you would screw in the camera here. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up our handles right here. So um, you have two different options. You have an extender right here, which allows you to get you to give you a little bit more room. I use the 5D Mark II a lot when I shoot, so I use the extender. Now, if you don't need the extender and you have a smaller, maybe point-and-shoot camera or GoPro that you're going to be using with it, um, you can plug the 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 setup just like this um, if you want. But uh, for me, like I said, I like to go on and extend it out so that it looks more like this, and then we'll of course put our top piece on. So let's go on and do this, and I've actually got this backwards right here, so there we go. Um, we'll grab this piece, we'll grab our Allen wrench, and we'll go on and put this in. Um, another, another way you could do this um, is by going on and screwing in these pieces right into this. Um, it's pretty easy to do that, and then going on and screwing it right into that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Allen wrench, put it on the bottom, and we're just going to screw this in. Takes a second to do, not too long. You know, there is a little bit of time that you have to put into actually getting this product put together, but it is well worth it because of how small it is and how much stability you get out of it. So there we go, and we'll tighten it up. So you want to make sure everything is tight as possible as you possibly can get it. It will make things run much smoother when you're actually shooting. And let's go on and get the next piece. Again, I do find it easier just to go on and plug this piece right into the, the handles first if you're going to use the extension. And we'll get the Allen wrench here. Screw her in. There we go. So we've got this part pretty well put together. Again, this is a little loose, so might need to tighten it up just a tad bit more. There we go. Then we have our top part, which is pretty simple to set up. Um, the nice thing about these are they actually have these little wheels right here, which goes, which we can use to screw right into the top plate. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Doesn't take that long to do. And once they're all screwed in, now we've got the basic setup here. So you have this piece, if you're not going to use the, any of the bottom system, this is where you would stop if you're not going to actually use your rail system. I like to use the rail system just because you just never know when you might need it. Um, so I just kind of keep it connected. Plus, when you have the rail system connected, you have this piece, which allows you to take the camera on and off the gearbox. If you don't have a quick release, it, it allows you to take the, it off the gearbox, your camera, much faster. So you have this screw right here that's in the middle um, where you would connect your camera. We're going to go on and take it out. Um, it screws right out, 
you just move it all the way to the front and then you can screw it right out and then we can go on and put this piece in right here and you got to make sure it's all the way in the front so it can screw in and as you can see it can move back and forth like that so once that's done you're going to take this piece right here it's going to connect right underneath and then we're going to line that up with the holes that are on that and once that and that is a little difficult to do if you're on the go if you got some time you can be real patient about it you should be able to have no problem getting those in there and what I like to do is I like to go on and hand do it first and then use the Allen wrench to tighten everything up second. It makes it a little bit easier that way. So. And then once that's done, you just take your Allen wrench and go to town, tighten everything up. takes a second not too long and coming up on the last one here once that's finished you can slide our rails in And that is how you put the photography and cinema gearbox together. Again, it's really easy to throw your camera in there. You can just put your camera right in. Use this plate. It's pretty fast. Voila. And there you go, all put together. Great for shooting. Um, Loving, loving this product so far. Again, you can check this out on their website at photographyandcinema.com. Um, there will be a link down in the description bar below. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing our full review of this product and the actual footage of us shooting it, shooting with it, you can click right here. You can check us out on Facebook at David D. Images, uh, Twitter at Media Unlocked, and our new website, MediaUnlocked.net. We'll catch you guys next time. You have a great one.